A goal without a plan is what? A wish. If your goal is to get a base hit and to get on base, you gotta have a plan to do such, right? In my opinion, baseball is the one sport that really reflects life. In baseball, you fail 70% of the time, and if you can be successful 30% of the time, you're a Hall of Famer. That's kind of how life is. You're gonna fail a lot in life, um, but if you can overcome failure, you can overcome adversity, you can do anything. Excellent job, baby. Excellent hit, sir. Very proud of you. My name is Clee Ross. I'm the baseball program coordinator at the Kansas City MLB Urban Youth Academy, and my role is, is using baseball as a vehicle to educate children in, in the community that we serve. Here's how we fill the ground ball. So when you're standing there, you draw a triangle in between your legs. It doesn't matter if you've been playing your entire life or it doesn't matter if you've never played before. The one thing that we require is a heartbeat. If you have a heartbeat, we'll figure out the rest. Get six pitches, go to work. Six pitches. I, I trust you, so I'm gonna let you be a little bit closer, but keep your eye on the ball, okay? I try to treat kids how I wanna be treated. Baseball gave me an opportunity to become successful. If you take baseball out of my life, I never would have attended college and I probably wouldn't be sitting here with you now. So I always try to approach kids, adults, parents, the exact same way I would want somebody to approach me. So I really try to get on the same level as the kids. I try to basically pretend that I'm seven, eight, nine years old so I see it the way that they see it. You know, sometimes, uh, it's hard to understand somebody if you can't you know, relate to where they're coming from. And that's what I really take pride in, is being able to relate to anybody. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, tall, fat, skinny, rich, poor, broke, whatever it is, I'm gonna find a way to communicate with you. And once we get on that same level of communication, the sky is the limit. Ready, go! Stride out, stride out, stride out. There we go, Jack. There we go, Jack. Most leagues nowadays, they're only focused on the competitive player. We're focused on the kids from all walks of life, and our ultimate goal is to grow the game by bringing the inner city, suburban, and rural areas together, and we feel like we have the perfect platform to do such. Step and throw, okay? Let me see it. You know, the bulk of our kids, I would say 85, 90% of the kids all live in this community that we reside in. But if the 10% of kids that don't live in this community that we reside in, that's the key because that gives those 90% of kids that don't get a chance to get out of the environment that they're in now, that gives them a chance to communicate, to learn, to interact with kids from a different walk of life. And to me, all these kids are gonna be the future leaders of our community. Before you get into the batter's box, it's all fun and games. But when you get into that box, that's when it's gotta be business. I, I think sometimes uh, the word inner city gets misdefined. You know, sometimes does inner city mean that you have to be black, you have to be dumb, you have to be stupid, or does inner city mean that you just live in a certain area? You may have a kid where his parents are really well off in life, and you may have another kid that doesn't know where his next meal is gonna come from. But the more we can get those kids to communicate, that breaks down those barriers, and next thing you know, we're all moving to the same beat instead of being divided by a lack of knowledge. To be honest with you, I grew up without a father figure in my life. My dad was never a part of my life. And I made a commitment when I was young that instead of allowing that pain to be a negative, I would use it as a positive motivation and I would go above and beyond to make sure any child that I crossed paths with didn't feel the way that I feel. Are you ready? Go ahead. Go, 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 go! Our ultimate goal here uh, at the end of the day is to grow the game. And in order to grow the game, you have to be able to introduce kids to alternative options outside of just being able to play. We have a press box here where kids are gonna learn how to be an announcer. Every game, we have a, a young lady or a young man that gets to say play ball. If I could please have everyone's attention, I have a special announcement from my new friend, Violet, here. Play ball! <laughs> We do that and put them on the microphone so they can say, when I was six, seven years old, I got an opportunity to get on the microphone, I got an opportunity to speak in front of people, so now I'm a pretty good public speaker. We're not trying to develop major league players, we're trying to develop major league citizens. And by giving everybody an opportunity to be a major league citizen, we're gonna find some major league players as diamonds in the rough. If you had a little fun, give me one clap. If you had a little fun, give me two claps. If you had a little fun, give me three claps. Team on three. One, two, three. Team!